It's Aaliyah from Sailor Mouth Soaps. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing video. This is from Bayside Soap. It's a small, um, you know, bath, body and skincare supply company in Australia. And it's my first time shopping with them. So I'm just going to show you the colours and the additives and moulds that I bought. So before I jump in, I just want to let you know that the ordering process from Bayside Soap was quite simple. Um, I had signed up for an email newsletter a few weeks prior and there was a, a discount one that came out one night and that just sort of pushed me over the edge to go and check out a few things. There was also some new additives that had um, just been released and although I didn't end up buying those in this particular shopping trip, um, I'm sure that I will come back and buy them another time. Shipping was fairly fast um, within Brisbane. For some reason that always seems to take a bit longer than you would <laughs> expect but it was dispatched the next day and if Australia Post takes you know two days to deliver it that's not anything to do with um, Bayside Soap that's just the way Australia Post is with all the different distribution centers but yeah so it arrived nice and safely let's take a look and I really appreciate the um, jiffy bag that it was sent in rather than one of the um, plastic satchels because I think Australia Post are honestly a bit misleading about the way they talk about their satchels because they say that it can be recycled but when you look into it it's actually a very convoluted process and you need to have kilograms of this stuff before anyone will actually accept it whereas this is actually you know a natural material it's biodegradable that's far better than plastic Ooh. Okay, beetroot powder, so nice. So that works out to be about 56 grams, which is, you know, quite a lot. So this I'm gonna be using in cold process soap and soy scrub. I've got some plans for a melt and pour, um, you know, design, which is going to be a ocean theme. And I thought the soy looked an awful lot like sand. And even though I've got like almonds and walnuts and all those other kind of you know, scrubby additives already. This just seemed like it was, um, you know, sand. <laughs> the perfect sand additive, my brain today. Wow, and this is, yeah, I haven't used any of Crafter's Choice um, colors before, so this is quite different from what I'm used to seeing, but it's such a big bottle compared to what you get from um, Aussie Soap Supplies. They're 15 mil bottles is what I would normally get. So stained glass, brilliant, lemon, lime, liquid color. And I think this is best for melt and pour but that's a color I don't really um, have sort of nailed at the moment. So this will be exciting to try out. Ooh, and their fragrances are in unusual bottles. I kind of like it. It feels so American. Icelandic sea moss, natural fragrance oil. That just really grabbed my, my attention. The natural fragrance oil seemed quite interesting. Um, I'll have to read, I'll have to read what they've got going on there, but yeah natural fragrance oil so i wonder why it's called natural fragrance oil instead of just essential oil because that's what natural would you know have me believe that it's an essential oil so i might have to look into what crafters choice mean by by that term because yeah that they were only stocking four in the natural fragrance oil category so that's really interesting but i will have a sniff and look super well packaged you know you've got to be so careful when you're shipping these kind of things i really appreciate that Oh, it's really nice. It's kind of like sea salt. It's a real, it's a really, it's a really spot on ocean scent. So this is amazing. That's what I will end up using in my, um, you know, sort of mermaid ocean theme melt and pour. How cool. And this is exciting. I've just opened up um, this little parcel here and there's a sample of matter root powder. Whee. Oh, my molds. I've been admiring Crafters Choice molds for a while, so this is so exciting. Okay. So, this is the farmhouse guest mold, size 16.19. And I wanted this because I love the ridges, and I'm going to be using it for some, um, you know, sort of scrubby shower exfoliating soaps. So they're perfect, just single use sizes to take inside. Won't need to use any preservatives then. And then this is kind of on me. For some reason, I thought this was more of a slab mold um, because I've got some ideas in mind of, you know, different sort of soap designs which require a slab. But I've obviously in my, you know, <laughs> nighttime excitement of uh, using a discount code, not really measured too well. But that's cool because I actually, it, molds like this are so good if you end up just making a bit too much soap and you don't, you know, you need to like glop it somewhere <laughs> super fast. Oh, wow. 
Okay, the indigo powder for a um, cold process project that I have got in mind. I love how they come in these beautiful containers. That's so good. And then, how awesome is this? Look at that, it's a liquid, but it's in a container. That's just so different to what I've been using. I normally just have little dropper bottles. So yeah, that's great. I'm glad I've got lots of pipettes because I think I will, um, I will need them. Um, but I'm always looking for the perfect brown. <laughs> so there we go, yay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm really, really excited to um, get stuck in and use these particular products. And I'll let you know how I go with these different sort of formulations. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really used to, but I think it'll be lots of fun to, to get used to them. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching my haul. I'm sure it'll be the first of, of many. <laughs> so until next time, happy soaping.